Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining me this time is manager Dave Frecklin. Today we're at training. It's Thursday night. How's things looking out there for you and the lads? Uh, yeah, okay. Terry's and Chris has just taken a warm up. Um, obviously, we've had uh, Muggers' assessment on obviously the injuries that we've, that we've picked up on Tuesday night um, and the, the ones that are already out injured. Um, so obviously, Greg and, and Dwayne's not as bad as first feared. Um, Greg probably. 80, 20, and Greg's probably probably around 70, 30 to be fit for Saturday. Obviously, both aren't training tonight, so it's a case of assessing them again before the game Saturday. Um, but that obviously adds to uh, to Marcus Marshall and, uh, and Cleveland Taylor. So uh, yeah, four real key players out. Uh, but again, it gives other opportunities to come in and uh, stake a claim. Go in into Saturday's game, big game against Farsley. Will the the likelihood of Dwayne Wiley not being able to start the game? Uh, give a chance to your new signing, Chris Salt. Perhaps. Well, yeah, obviously we're going to work on certain scenarios tonight. Um, you know, Salt is one we've brought in uh, to obviously give give good competition to to, to Dwayne and to um, to Yatesy. Uh, obviously, Brad can play one in. Um, obviously, so can Lee Beavers. So um, it just gives them um, real competition now. Um, but again, probably earlier than we first expected with Dwayne being out injured um, for training tonight uh, and possibly Saturday. So we probably get his opportunity you know more, more early than first thought <clears throat> we've uh, looked at the highlights after the Farsley games for game or the games for Farsley game one of the two they're going to be quite the contest for your boys is it one you're relishing coming from against the team that's at the top of the table currently of course yeah these are the games you want to be involved in um it was early on in my tenure here i think it was back in september where uh, we played Farsley away and we, we we were good on the day and uh, we lost three two um, three set pieces as well, which we were disappointed to concede. But um, that was the first time we we looked a real threat, and the first time we played Marshall and Westcar up front, I believe, um, and gave them a good game. But since then, they've really kicked on. They're a, a real big, strong, physical side, but got lots of threats going forward. Um, you got Big Spencer up top with Cartman parking in there, and size from Darlington who gets on as well. So uh, tough not to crack. Three really good, experienced centre backs. Um, you know, and, and to go to Gainesville and win five, um, and could have been a lot more, to be honest. And won at, uh, won at Scarborough, you know, beat Nantwich last week. So we're we're, we're fully aware of what um, Farsley are going to bring, but also, uh, you know, we've on the back of two good performances. You know, we we, we won at Hyde last week, which is again a hard place to go and play. Uh, we were excellent there, and then I fought first half against the Conference North outfit with the players that we had out injured. I uh, I thought we were we were excellent, but. Again, I thought just it was a second half with, with what went against us and uh, their change in shape, which again was a compliment to our players for them to change the shape because they couldn't handle what was what we'd thrown at them. Um, you know, we're, we're we're ready for the game and um, you know the boys are in great spirits. On paper, <coughs> a lot of people will be looking at Farsley as the favourites for the game with Matlock perhaps the underdogs. But this season overall, we've seen Matlock when they are the underdogs thrive on that and crop up with a lot of unexpected results. If you listen to the bookies. Is it another one of those cases where the lads will go out feeling they've got something to prove? I think it's a game where, again, everyone's looking forward to it because you want to be beating top of the league. You, we want to win every game, you know, since we've been in uh, here in charge uh, since uh, since the end of September, you know, we've we've gone away to Norwich and won. Uh, we've been away to Warrington and have won. Um, we drew with Scarborough down here. Um, you know, we've, we, we've, we've been really competitive against the teams uh, in the top five, um, <clears throat> apart from South Shields, where you know we've been beaten convincingly, really, um, so that gives us real confidence and real belief to, to to play these teams down here, and we feel we've we've grown as as, as a team and as and as a club, and and we feel we've got better and stronger as the season has gone on. You know, we, when we first played Farsley, we were we were in the bottom three, and and now I think we'll, they'll probably come down here and give us a bit more respect, just, just purely down to to the improvement we've seen over the, uh, the last few months. So. Um, I won't say that we're we're definitely not afraid of the task. You know, if anything, we're you know we're very proactive about the challenge in front, and uh, you know, again, we're looking forward to to see where we're at now. Now, when we got down here tonight, you you arrived with quite the smile on your face. The ink has dried on the deal. Craig King is officially a Matlock Town player for next season. It must be one you were really happy to get over the line. It is, and uh, you know, Craig was probably the stellar signing for us. You know, when we uh, first came through the door. Um, a player that we've I've worked with, you know, not just at games, but at workshop when I was assistant manager there a few years back, 
Um, his performances have been nothing shy of outstanding week in, week out and become a firm fans favourite here and um, you know to, to, to being probably the last two weeks we've been in com conversation with Craig about extending it and you know it was done within two or three minutes so you know it, we knew that with him being local and, and playing under me and Terry again he's he's really enjoying his football he's he's a you know teams have given us probably a little bit more respect down to Craig being on the pitch uh, doubling up on him most weeks and uh, being a thorn in a lot of teams' sides. So to get the deal done very quickly, you know, I'd like to thank the chairman and the board. Um, but again, for Craig, you know, he obviously feels at home. Um, you know, he's, he's a big part of the changing room. And uh, again, I think it's a statement to, to say, you know, we're, anyone that comes in here and, and, and does really well, performs weekly, uh, consistently, uh, and, and is someone that, you know, we believe should be playing higher, you know, we're looking to tie down for longer periods. Um, so, you know, with having Craig Westcar and Craig King signed up for next season already, um, you know, it's really, really pleasing for a manager. I've spoken to Craig before this. He's genuinely really happy to remain at mm -hmm. the club. I believe there are a few clubs asking the question, sniffing around, seeing what his availability would be for next season. And in, in my humble opinion, he's one of maybe three top players in the whole league. So to get a player signed like that on of that ability, do you think it's going to help you when it comes to attracting more talent in the future, absolutely, you know, and you know, you're only going to get more consistent performances and better results with the likes of Craig in the building. You know, he's uh, he wouldn't commit his future here um, to Matlock Town if he wasn't happy, or he didn't think that we had a chance of you know getting better and, and, and progressing as a, not only as a club but as a team. Um, you know, he he he's a winner first and foremost. He he wants to try and achieve things. And uh, you know, we, he, having Craig last year, you know, we we achieved certain certain targets that were set, and um, he, he's confident in what me, Terry, and Chris can bring in in the summer. And hopefully, you know, we, uh, those that can be more consistent now to the end of the season, you know, are only going to make us better. And uh, certainly, having Craig nailed down for next season as well as as the end of this, you know, shows that kind of direction we're going in, and uh, hopefully, attract one or two more quality players. So, while thoughts still on this season very much, the wheels are also in motion for next season. Is that something you're keen to stress to fans, perhaps, that there's still a lot to play for this season? Oh, 100%. You know, our season's not over by, by any way stretch of the imagination. It's, you know, what are we, 11 points, I think, off the playoffs. Um, you know, all you need is, you know, we need to try and win the next three or four games, um, if we can. Uh, which will be very difficult on Saturday, but you know we need to go on an unbeaten run again now. Winning last week at Hyde um, was massive for us, really, uh, because it obviously it's, it stopped that run of, uh, five game on uh, five game winless run. Um, we we're back in the goals again Saturday and Tuesday, but last Saturday and getting the three points against a team in and around us. Um, but but more importantly, you know it, it just reminded a few teams that we weren't our season's not finished, uh, and that if any teams going to have a bit of a dip in form then we must be on the coattails and uh, you know we all believe that if we can go on a run you know we're not out of the equation yet. Now to finish things off on another plus um, after speaking with our fantastic chief executive Keith Brown he has confirmed that Adam Yates will be available for league games and it will be county cup games he's banned for. Adam I believe to my knowledge that was his first sending off in Matlow Colours in over 450 games it must be uh, reassuring to know that you'll have Yatesy available Saturday. Yes, it is, especially with the with the loss of Dwayne. Um, you know, and, and having them as a pair, you know, they've, they've done really well for us. So, um, yeah, we 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 was aware on Tuesday that the rules had changed, um, and and it's the only problem sometimes when you're playing in a in a in a big local derby and then passions and you know and, and tensions are high and. You know, it's very full blooded and very committed. And it's Yatesy style of play, and I've got no problems with with Yatesy. You know, being that committed, he's, he's Matlock through and through, and he's a winner. So sometimes, you know, you can lose yourself in the moment, and uh, he's, he's got no problems with me and all the sending off. Uh, but to have him available for league games is a massive plus for us because we, we need to try and have as many fit players as we can and, and our better players, you know, fit and raring to go for the running. You know, 11 big games, well, we've got 12 big games left, um, 36 points to play from, and as, and as many experience and, and, and on our better players available, the more better for us. Right. Thank you for your time, Dave Brackington. Thank you, James. Thank you.